patients have um, concerns? Uh, do you uh, encounter resistance at first uh, among some patients? And if so, how do you overcome those? Let's say there, there are two places you can get resistance. And certainly prior to this whole episode, it was from physicians who felt that, that the, um, let's say the values and the principles and practice of medicine required a hands-on exam at least for a new patient. Uh, I think that that has evolved. And I will say that uh, I've worked hard at developing templates that help us understand how we can observe and get the patient actually to assist in their own physical exam or a parent to assist. And that yes, there are conditions that need to be hands-on examined. Uh, there are certain types of things you just can't do otherwise. There are apps out there that can facilitate some but still that hands-on and that one-to-one -one works. But on the other hand, once you have the opportunity, like you and I here on this uh, video conference, we see each other, we know each other, we mm -hmm. feel very comfortable with each other. Mm -hmm. And you know, if it was in the COVID-free world, we'd probably do a couple of back slaps if we met each other you know, in a social setting. So I think that once you experience it, the uh, receptivity is so much better. And I can't tell you how many patients I will see being picked up from school in the afternoon to talk about their ADHD medicine or uh, some other kind of issue and sitting in the car, literally with mom and the child. Um, it's a great experience. It's very convenient, very easy for them and very efficient and actually saves a lot of money. 